Well, here we are again. Yep, Emily's not here. Gar's not here. If only we had like a like a knight in shining armor to come join us for this week. <laughs> oh god. Oh. Oh god, it's it's, it's, it's... when we cross paths we form a bond. Every pebble you step on is a beginning towards a bond. Rejoice! Have fun! It's a festival! It's a party! Let's have fun! Oh god, it's it's Don Knight Jerry! <laughs> it's Don That's Jerry! I was thinking Kishi, brother, but okay. Uh, uh, Don Knight Jerry, I I swear my loyalty to thee. <laughs> oh, hey, Sonoy. <laughs> Kill roll call. We are live! Connect. Loading. Broadcast. Tempered Zeal! Bluecaster Super Ichi! Loud and Impulsive! Greycaster! Late! Armed with bad puns and positive reinforcements! Two. Nightcaster Sir Jerry the Lost! Broadcasting hundreds of opinions across the world! Radio Sentai Cast Ranger! Oh, yeah. Welcome to Radio Santa Cast Ranger. It's episode 380. Episode uh, Latias. Ep- oh, episode Lat. Episode Latias. Latias. Uh, the sister on Dom Brothers. <laughs> did you know that? Did you know that Latias actually kissed Ash on the cheek? Oh God. Yeah, Matt, do you, you don't remember that? I, th- I now that you <laughs> say that, I do, but I feel like that's one of the many things I just blacked out of my brain. Yeah, because Latias like disguised herself as like a, a human girl, oh. and then like at the end of the movie, he, she like kisses Ash on the cheek. So <laughs> Blue's right. Episode uh, Blue's right. Episode Ash's girlfriend. Everyone's like, oh, for fuck's sake, Slade! God damn don't it! Don't encourage uh, the furries. I, li- I like La- I like Latias more than Latios, anyways, personally. So, uh, itchy too late. <laughs> um, but anyways, welcome everyone. So, uh, Emily and Gar are not here this evening, but with us is the awesome Nightcaster, Sir Jerry. Welcome, sir. It's been a good long while. Well, I, I I figured everyone else got to have an episode with you, and I didn't, so I was like, I'm changing that. Guess who totally <laughs> didn't forget to remove orange and gold casters from the display until this moment? Woo! Because last time I was on, and I double checked it, it was midway through Zenkaiger and episode nine of Revise, and Yodana special, the second one. Oh uh, yeah. I, got, I still gotta watch part two of the new Don special. Do it. Do it. It has, it has Guy as juggler. Um, so we're a, a round table of knights who get together every week to talk about Ryder <laughs> Sentai and a third thing. I was gonna say members of Don Motaro's harem, but that works too. I was I'm gonna sorry, say a I'm, bunch I'm, of I'm roaming s- Pokemon. I'm sorry, I've been, play- <laughs> I've been playing a lot of Elden Ring this week. And I've been playing a lot so. of Triangle Strategy. I have unlocked three out of four endings. What's the next triangle ring? Well, this is um, this is this is my tarnished character. His name's Gary Grayman. Well, no. What's next is Final Fantasy Origin because that came out today. So that's what I'm going to be starting tomorrow. Did you get covered with the ashes of your enemies? Uh, no. So my story behind him is is that he was I thought this, the ashen yeah. one was in Dark Souls. <laughs> so no, but my I went God of God War. My, yeah, there it is. <laughs> so you brought Decker a little too early, but that's fine. Bounce pad. Save bounce that, pad. Save that for later. Bouncy pooch. Um, but yeah, so I've been really pl- playing a lot of Elden Ring. It's been a blast. Uh, I've also been loving Elden Ring so much that I bought the Elden Ring G Fuel flavor. Oh, of course, so, there's yeah, Elden Christ. Ring G Fuel. Yeah, it's called Crimson Tears. It's it's based off the healing potion that you. Of you've course, that's game. what it's called. Uh, apparently, it's a pear flavor. So I'm not a fucking pear. sauced enough for this episode. All right, so this week we are talking about Revice, episode 26, Dawn Brothers, episode 2, and for our feature topic, we will be talking about Common Rider, Revice, Mystery, episode 2 and 3. Yeah, but before that, we have some news. 
news well, mode. Yeah. First, first thing of news for me, uh, courtesy of Ichi being the best friend that he is to me, he uh, got me the, if it takes the picture, bam, he uh, got me the rolling buy stamp because I'm going to give him my two side driver in return. And that's happening because I bought this. <laughs> yeah, I'd play the rolling buy stamp, but my Eddie mic's so good it doesn't pick it up. <laughs> You, have to like, you continue to taunt me. You have to like really shove it in the mic's face. Yeah. Whoops, spawned a wait. demon. Wait a second, Wayne, question. Are you in control or the demon? Uh, I'm always in control. I am my own demon. So wait, you is, are Jack Rivens. Is your demon yep. your name backwards? Enel? <laughs> Enel? <laughs> What about, what about what about heavy lanel? My my jackbox name. I forgot about that. That'll forever be my jackbox name. <laughs> Jack yeah, I didn't see that coming. No, heavy lanel. You had to be there when that was manifested. It was oh, yeah. the funniest shit ever. Jack jackbox is a good time. Oh, a good time. Oh my god, I'm crying. Uh. But yeah, so, uh, okay, so what's our first news story, Ichi? All right. News mode. Uh, Bandai Japan has revealed uh, in the SMP series Gao Icarus and Gao Centaurus from Gao Ranger. So all, right. all we're needing left is Gao God. And then we can Gao Gai Gar. Uh, that is getting release. Cool. But yeah, this looks really good. Oh, yeah. Neat. Um, yeah, so Gal Icarus, Gal Centaurus. With this, with these SMP entries, the Gal Ranger power animals are complete. No pricing or uh, release Red date Hood. yet. Gal Knight was last set. Yeah, I think yeah. did they not do that one? Gal Knight was after uh, Gal Hunter. I've, I, I, I can't, I'm bad at keeping track of the Gal Ranger Zords. How dare you! All right. Anyways, next, uh, Don Brothers News. They put out images of the Lupin Ranger and Pat Ranger altars, which is literally just putting the fucking dial or the VS machines on its arms. Although the red the turns red, into red turns into scissors. Yeah, I was gonna say they did make the red dial fighter look more like the scissors blade, but like the red yeah, but... the trigger machine is just the car. On his hand. Yeah, but I have to. I have to get it because it's a Pat Ranger thing. Of course you do. Well, yeah, I've I've made a vow to myself that I will collect every single piece of Pat Ranger merchandise they release. Out of all the altars, these are more of my favorite so far. I mean, we only know like four of them. I'm still and waiting for my ones. I'm still waiting for my drive stamp revise. Right. <laughs> God. <laughs> Blaine, I'm afraid it might not happen because there's no O stamp either so far. There's no wizard like, stamp. It was supposed to be an owl. I mean, hey, we still have plenty of uh, proto via stamps that aren't purified yet, so we still have a chance. Yeah. Um, yep. So these are for the mini plot Avataros Sentai series releasing in May. Each piece, each part of this 10 piece set costs 390 yen each. Hmm. All right, cool. Moving on. Uh, SH Figure Arts renewal of Kamen Rider O's Taja Dol Combo Eternity was teased. Oh, this thing is so beautiful. It's it's gorgeous. It's My God. Basically like super onk form. Yeah. Uh, nope. Plus the Raws of the movie are out. And, yeah, and I think it's um, subbed already too. So we might be talking about that oh, very is? soon. I don't know I'm watching later. <laughs> So, yeah, no release date or price yet, but it's happening, I guess. Ugh. So good. <laughs> Next in Figure Arts news, Kamen Rider Jean. I'm actually surprised this is, was announced as early as it was. I'm like, we, we don't even Same. have live yet, I think. Watch that be next. Could be. But this figure actually looks really good. I've actually grown to really like the John suit. I'm still not used to the weird ponytail, but the rest of it's fine. I don't know. I've grown. I, grow, I like the head, the chest, and I've grown to like the boots. Yeah. Uh, the set also comes with the Revice Slasher and Mammoth Vice Stamp for Revice. 
because that's the thing they do. Uh, premium Bandai Web exclusive, sixty nine thirty yen August release. And of course, it's premium. Cha 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 cha. John. Hear me out. What it meant? We got Vice. Imagine they should did a figure arts of love cov. I'm kind of surprised it doesn't come with one. Maybe there'll be like an accessory pack that has it. Come to the fans. Come to the fans and the bazooka. <laughs> yeah, there's love cover the gun. Well, this figure comes with heat. this. This figure comes with the the Kujaku fans, but I could see them doing like an accessory pack that comes with love cover normal oh. and the bazooka. <laughs> I want the bazooka, right? <laughs> I mean, plus her belt did just come out. Yeah, I'm I'm seeing videos of the Libera driver. Man, <laughs> I, I watched reviews of that belt, and like for premium Bandai, it just feels so cheap. It, and I well, it is a prototype, but I agree, it's not really worth a premium price if you think of it. No. Yeah. Like I like the sounds. I don't want the bell. I listen to sounds on YouTube. Yeah. I, I it's only premium. Blaze. I mean, you're blaze. Right. You're not wrong, but <laughs> but uh, that shouldn't be the reason. I kind of like the Libera driver. I just wish it wasn't so fucking orange. I I just didn't. I just wish the cage door wasn't like flopping at the bottom. Oh, videos of the demons stamp set are out now. Yeah. Ooh. It's actually got a different standby chime in the revised driver. It's interesting. Oh. Common Rider Common Rider Julio, maybe? Oh, please give my purified wolf stamp. But yeah, about the whole like cage door flopping down, that is kind of weird. I think they should have had it like on a spring where it like flips around and sits on top. Yeah. Like, again, I get it's a prototype, but it could have been designed a little bit better. It's a shitty prototype. Not your best work, George. Yeah. Well, he didn't make it. His dad or, did. Or in this case, Weekend. Yeah, Masumi. All right. Next on the Figure Arts line, SH Figure Arts Renewal Kuga Titan Form. Which yes. I think we're only missing Rising Dragon, Pegasus, and I think Amazing. Yeah. Oh, wait. Nope. <laughs> I still want to get, the other risings. I, I still want to get Kuga growing form. Uh, one forty-five. One forty-five millimeters yes. tall. It comes with not only the sword, but the, the the handle of the bike that turns into the sword. Oh my! Oh yeah, because Pegasus comes with like the gun, the gun. that he turns into the crossbow. <laughs> yeah. Uh, premium Bandai Web exclusive, seventy-seven hundred yen August release. See, whenever whenever I see Pe Kuga Titan form, I just remember that episode, that that scene where he just kept beating the fucking shit out of that one Grongi, yep. and then oh, he turned to Titan and just episode. impaled him with his sword. That was great. That was oh, amazing. I, mm. And you've never you've never ever seen fucking like Yosuke that fucking Yusuke. Yusuke. Okay, they did, okay they did do amazing. So they're only missing Rising Dragon and Pegasus. Oh my god, the fucking bike handle extends. <laughs> Thank you for the image, Decker. Wow, that's great. <laughs> uh, cool. All right, next. I know Gar was happy about this. He was talking about this in our group chat, but Hasbro has revealed new add-ons to the Lightning Collection, the Mighty Morphin Swap Pack. It's Jason and Trini if they swapped power sets. This is from the comics. Yeah, and they're also a couple. Yeah. They were cute in the comics. So now everyone's hoping that we get a uh, swap of uh, blue and uh, pink, I think, or black and pink. The best thing about this set for Sentai fans is that you basically have a boy figure. Yeah, but like... You get an actual boy. But this is Jason in the Yellow Ranger suit. So if you look at his like torso, it's fucking huge. Oh well, yeah, that's what American figures do. No, I know, but boy, boy was never that that tough. That boy big got boyf. Yeah. <laughs> you got shredded. Also, we're shredded. getting a Lord Dragon helmet. Oh yeah. First, first version Lord Dragon helmet specifically. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking picture of the dude with the client. It looks silly, honestly. 
I don't know, like Lord Dragon was cool, like at, 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 at like out the gate, and then just after a while, you just you look at them, and I'm like, eh, really good looking suit. Just so, <laughs> like MMPR, he got over milk. <laughs> so the the swap pack is forty seven ninety nine, releasing in December, and the Dragon helmet also releasing in December at the price of one hundred and thirty two ninety nine. And they're both exclusive to GameStop. <laughs> Lord Draken came back. Lord Draken never left. <laughs> Lord Draken came back in. <laughs> Dude, but I don't care. I'm gonna defeat you with the power of friendship and this gun I found. Yep, that's what Kuga do. That's and our Kuga last does. news story is something that broke like a, an hour ago. Uh, the official website for Kamen Rider Black Sun has updated to reveal the suits. For Black Sun and uh, Shadow Moon. Shadow Moon. They are fucking I really intense. Like these. I really like these. Oh, bikes are cool. Yeah, we also got their... Yeah, so there's Black Sun. There's their <laughs> bikes. They're, they're very... The suits are very SIC, and I like it. The new Shadow Moon just looks like the Orphanoc from the End of Fies. Oh, the king, the Orphanoc king. Oh God, the yeah, king, the Ark, Arch Orphanoc, or whatever it was called. The the child, and yeah. he has the Ark, something like that. Right. Man, like I do. Okay, when you when we heard that we were getting a black, like reboot series movie, whatever. Movie. These are not the designs I was expecting. <laughs> I mean, they I actually, basically I really gave him, like them. They basically gave him the Amazon's treatment. Yeah. They are more. They do look more organic, which I think was the implication in the. Remember, remember in Black Transformation, that in between he looks organic. Yeah. Yeah. So this is like him, like stopping but, uh, halfway. I but I do I do like this. It's not I, bad. I, I, don't I, hate just, it. I, I was just expecting them to be like kind of like first and the next kind of designs. God, just no. like you know, no, but like you know what I mean, like. It's like they're they look like their original selves, but like they're <laughs> edgy updated Modern versions. Be- no, it's funny. When I first saw this image, I thought they were the figures because yeah. it looks so segmented. Yeah. See, Pi, that reminds me of that joke we made when we talked about this movie, and I was just like, black. then Drive goes, You're under arrest for being black. <laughs> oh god, Grand Prix. <laughs> Don't shoot, that man is not black. Oh god! I can't believe they got he's, away with that line. Right? He's our ex. But uh, the bikes look cool. I actually like Shadow Moon's bike too. I just like Shadow Moon's stuff better in general. Well, yeah, he's got the Satan Saburu. <laughs> it's not even that. Just the suit design, I think, is cooler. I'm actually the opposite. I actually like Black more than Shadow Moon. I like Black RX's design. This is great. His belt looks like the Arc Driver. Yes. Yes, it does. <sighs> All right. So that's happening later in 2022. And that is I'm excited. And that's it for yeah, news. Maybe we'll maybe, maybe we'll do a show like we did Amazon's. Enter the black. Uh, I was about to say black, <laughs> blackest night. <laughs> maybe. Yeah. Uh, we the did black not, in the RX. We did not talk about the Toei Animation thing, but we should probably mention it. So apparently, Toei Animation Studios got hacked recently to the point where it's caused. A lot of their shows to be delayed, uh, like Digimon, Creature, uh, Ghost Game, the One Piece for me, uh, and Dragon Quest. Apparently, uh, one second. It sucks because I have been watching Digimon Ghost Game. Hmm. Yo, anyone who watched season two, remember Aru Kenimon? They showed her human face in a recent episode, like without the glasses and hat. Okay, I was going to be like, we've seen her with her human face. But like not, but you never like without all of the shit on her head. I always liked, I always liked Mummy Mon. He was, he was in episode cool. two, actually. Really? Yeah. Oh. I'm still excited for Ghost Game. I, I just remember I thought Mummy Mon was so fucking cool because he was just like a mummy, but then he had like a bandolier and just wielded two guns. And fucking he guns. So fucking cool. Digimon Ghost Game it's, it's, is... It's, 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 Digimon Ghost Game is freaky because, like, the characters come very close to actual death almost every episode. I thought, I thought the whole point boy, of dude, our moment's dark. Yeah. I thought, the, I thought the whole point of them was that they didn't die. <laughs> no, the humans. Ah. Uh, paralyzed Yum Yum. She never debuted. I don't know what that means. Because the, the hack. 
Look, look, at, look at this motherfucker. Look at all this. Oh, Cure Yum Yum. I couldn't see the whole image. Yeah, Cure Yum Yum. Yeah. I thought it, it's, was, the, it's the Digimon effect. Just I, give a random thing guns and it's awesome. I thought Yum Yum was like a VTuber Emily, thing. Emily posted on uh, Facebook a few days ago that there was like, they're releasing like a figure of, uh, I forgot what her name is, but like one of the chicks from uh, uh, fucking, what's this anime called? You're going to have to give me something. The, 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 the Urobuchi one. Madoka? Oh, Madoka? Yeah, Madoka. Yeah. So he like she posted like a post about one of the girls getting a figure and I just responded oh, yeah, with mommy. That's the one he lost. I was like, that's the oh, one he God, lost the mommy head, right? <laughs> I just I didn't I didn't want to like confirm or spoil anything for anyone else who might be looking, so I just liked your comment to confirm. <laughs> I was just like but yes. Alright. Uh yeah. So yeah, there's Mummy Mon. He's awesome. Oh boy. Go watch Digimon season two. It's the best season ever. It's true. And Ghost Game. Ghost Game's alright. I'm actually doing Ghost Game a lot. I'm so far. I actually don't like it as much as even Atmon. No, Digimon Season Two is the only sh is Digimon series that will have a moment where Agumon is having like a really serious and philosophical conversation with Black War Greymon about life and shit. It's it's <laughs> it's, it's it's mind blowing. <laughs> Hey, Zero Two gave me V One. That's all I give. It, that's all I need. And all, all we wanted as kids was every time we saw Agumon and Black War Greymon talking. All we wanted as kids was to see War Greymon and Black War Greymon fight, and we actually got that, and it was fucking awesome. Funny enough, you know those uh, Warp Evolution figures they were releasing? Uh -huh. Yeah, the last one they released was a Black War Greymon. Hey, all right. So we should probably get back canceled, on topic. Sadly, but. Okay. He's voiced by Steve Bloom. Uh, so shall we go to Revice? Let's do it! So I like how <laughs> Bale decided out of boredom to just go back to the Demon's Driver. It's like, we're not done with your suit yet, Buster! Well, yeah, because we haven't, we, we haven't seen the upgrades to the belt. <laughs> So. And speaking of a uh, upgrade, we see a new proto vice stamp. Yeah, the Automalo car stamp. I'm which, is, which appropriately, as we talk about, is tied to black. Okay. So, right. Due to there, there was an image that was posted with all the Genomixes, and the claw attached had a striping pattern similar to black. Oh, so I didn't notice it. Seemed a little weird. What the fuck? Oh no. <laughs> Um, if anyone has a Genomix picture, can you post it, please? Ichi, look at the chat! Uh, I see, but oh, no, Tails is getting a job as a VTuber, didn't you see? No, but oh, is, he, is he working as a, at a McDonald's in the movie? Oh, oh, is that in the movie? I hope so! Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh my god, This look at that face he's making with the fucking laser scope. Oh man. <laughs> This movie's gonna be fucking amazing. Yeah. Thank you, Decker. Oh yeah, that does have kind of black RX looking patterns. Yeah, the, uh, not RX, right, just normal black. Oh it's yeah, a yeah, giant yeah. claw. Yeah, Automatic clawless. Okay, so I have something that I, I I noticed in the episode. Okay. So hear me out on this. Okay. So we find out that Papa Igarashi. Mm -hmm. He uh, well, his real name being Shunpei apparently. Shiranami Junpei. Um, yeah. Oh, Jim, yeah. Um, so apparently he worked. Uh, so they, they, uh, this, this organization called NOAA mm -hmm. apparently were trying to like militarize demons and use them for like military purposes. And so Common Rider Vale was created to hunt down these rogue demons. And I'm just sitting here being like, Gee, I wonder what show this reminds me of. <coughs> Jen. <laughs> Amazons. <laughs> I just think, think about it. It's kind of badass. A fucking organization and a scientist made monsters. They all went monsters. rogue and they had to send an elite team to fight and kill them. <laughs> Which, and we learned about Busan, he was in his group. Yeah, he was like a soldier that he met, and then he befriended him. Yeah, and apparently well, yeah, the, the the dead men's that we know were a splinter group from Noah. I guess they were like the survivors who want to continue the 
original motive. Yeah. Oh wait, I also realized I never get my thoughts on the uh, mind. I get my thoughts on the veil suit real quick. Yeah, sure. I, I, I like the bell. I like the red. Besides the pants, I like the veil suit. Are like you kidding? I, like I love the, the pants. pants. I love the pants. More writers <laughs> should wear comfortable pants. <laughs> but just the fact that when he first shows up, he he just slaps away Aguilera like she's a bug, literally. I mean, and just who hasn't punches... at this point? Fair. <laughs> Fair. And just machine gun punches a dead man to a wall and proceeds to... Prove I was the first and I'm the best. Yep. Power scaling, what's that? Plus, hey, what, hint, hint, new special of his coming out. Yeah, this this was nothing but a way to promote the Veil vale side special. <laughs> Which, do you recognize, and about the quick and tangent about the special, the younger version of Kimi was played by Hammy. Yeah, I don't know why, for some reason I thought that was Misora. <laughs> Um, and the it's the hair, yeah. And the actor, I forgot who he was in some other series, but it was not not in Tokyo. He was in Stomp mm. or Clomp or some piece of crap. Some kind of other, some kind of drama. Stomp the yarn, sure. No, stomp, stomp the, the fa- stomp the villain's face. The stomp the demons. So yeah, so, uh, it turns out that yeah, Genta's not his real name his real name is shiranami junpei which means the entire igarashi family is a lie it was basically plus, witness protection program plus that the whole thing about line about family and how yukimi was the one that made him defect and made a family so he changed his name changed his face lost his memories and started a family <laughs> oh so- was weird I really loved the freaking. Oh my god! Uh, I love the exchange of dialogue between Vale and uh, Vice, where Vice was just like, "Hey, remember who the fuck you're talking to, bitch? I'm still here." And, Vi- and Vale's just like, "Yeah, you, you, I just dropped my card that one time. Won't happen again." And so, I was like, "Holy shit!" So we Vice can, kicked Vale's ass. I was gonna say, so we can take that to understand that Vice fought and defeated Vale after that scene that we flashed back to. That's awesome. And then. Just cut to them talking. He's like, "Oh, hey, would it be would it be my father? Would I get an allowance off him? Like, really, Vice? <laughs> We're just saying to Gifu. Maybe he'll give us an allowance." <laughs> like he walks into Gifu. Hi, Dad. Um. Also, George decides to f- try to fire on the Gifu coffin. I love and it, it with nothing. no reason, no reasoning. They just unload a fucking field of guns at the coffin to no effect. So oh, plus. Uh, we just just the fact that one, where'd you get all that artillery? And two, did you really think it was gonna work? I mean, where they got it is no question. They're the fucking government. Also, um, <sighs> we we find out that apparently the reason that uh, uh, Daddy Daddy uh, Karazaki was uh, made uh, the rolling by stamp and the repaired the uh, Libra driver was because. He wanted to atone for his sins, and he thought, oh, if I help the Igarashi siblings defeat the dead bands, it'll, like, atone for what I've done, and Sakura's just like, you're full of shit, pal. I mean, that logic, you know who, my, that logic tracks. And you know and you know who he reminds me of? Hello, Shroud. Hmm. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. I like that Sakura was like calling him out, calling him a monster and like a piece of shit. And just Daddy, Daddy Ninja was just like, "Listen, you wouldn't even be a born or alive if if it wasn't for him saving your father's life." It's, it's true. It, Which is, it, yeah. It's true. Plus, it, I so er, I did kind of call this my early episodes that, or at some point that. Through he has to be the reason when they have their devil power, demon powers, and I was right. Yeah, it, it, that, that's that's all. That's always a thing in in Common Rider. The the powers are always some sort of derivative of the evil monsters. And funny enough, I was re-listening to my earlier episodes, and I called the Rider family, ignoring Yukimi. I basically got that. Yeah. Well, like. Okay, I, 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 
Let me give her a belt and we have a whole writer family. That's what I was well, saying me... last week. I'm like, now we're just missing one. Let's just get the whole fucking family to be a writer. That's that was well, clearly what they were hinting at at the very start. Well, let's see. So for drive to wield the drive driver, you had to be in a certain like emotional state of mind to use it. And of course, also well, the, because he had drive, to be the, the right. The idea with drive is that the shift cars and the roid mutes were all powered by the same technology. No, but also for for the drive driver to be drive because like uh, uh, freaking what's her face tried it, she couldn't do it because she didn't have the right like physical structure. Yeah, and here we go. Inosuke was like the perfect candidate for that. Um, and then let's see the in XA they had to undergo surgery to like get like a bugster DNA in them. Yeah, they had to have the the anti or the what the fuck is the word for it? The uh, surgery. Yeah, but like, what's the what did they get in them? Why am I blinking in this word? Uh, what series was this? Exane. Like what? what uh, antibody. Antibody. That's it. They need um, to have, and then. They, yeah. Go ahead. They. Yeah. So. Uh, every and then, writer set and, has some element of the villain monsters in them in some way, shape, or form. I so, mean, I liked what Ga I liked what Gaim did too, because Gaim was just like, "Oh, whoever puts on the belt, it's just." fixated to their dna so that no one else can wield it except for the user until they change that halfway through the show with the mass produced models yes the the one the one seventh club no. <laughs> yep okay so uh we get a we get an actually pretty cool unhenching fight between sakura and aguilera which honestly i actually really enjoyed i kind of glad that they just kind of duked it out without having to use their powers i just really enjoyed that the whole point of that fight was just aguilera going what am i here for what is the point of my character and sakura goes i don't know it's not my business fuck off you're a bitch <laughs> you bitch <laughs> So, you really is a good guy now. Uh, it's Tomaki, mm -hmm. Mr. Jerry. Oh, don't don't oh, dead name ow, the dead ow. man. That actually that actually hurt me. <laughs> Tomaki. Tomaki. Also, Tomaki. we haven't He's seen him in like two I, episodes. I feel shame. So Tomaki is essentially redeemed. What I, if he's the reason why Aguilar is going to become a good guy herself? Well, Probably. Yeah. She she he's rubbing off on her. I feel like that plot that like character arc will come to a head if and when Common Rider Julio happens. And you know, know what the sad part is? I see either Tomaki or Aguilera dying to save the other. Oh, for sure. I don't know. I think maybe they could like, pull off a Tamaki gains the power to protect her kind of deal. I mean, unless he, unless George can pull another idea for a belt out of his ass and You hey, know he stamp. can! Don't doubt George. Well, George is all another two sky driver in bad let, let, let me rephrase that. Then, what power set would you distinctly give him, or would you be a new belt entirely? Let him use a new version of the wolf stamp. I'm talking about the belt, not the stamp. Well, they, you can whip out a new driver. They've, they've already got how many fucking models so far? They can make another one. The riot driver. He'll be but, coming around a riot. But, um. But anyway, so uh, the main purpose of this episode was finally we're getting the f the confrontation, the conclusion to the whole Daiji Kagero f fight debacle, <laughs> which apparently for his power up, either you or your demon will die. Although I should that that was only the case because George said he wasn't finished making the stamp. Which apparently the crow was only the prototype version of the Holy Wing. Yeah, which I have. Holy Wing. I know you have it, Itchy. I know you know. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> yeah. So, but no, I, Kagero, I did like the. Yeah, Kagro actually goes up to George and and like to get a spare two side driver. I'm actually impressed that the show actually took the time to, f d like, come up with a, a method by which. Evil and Live could fight each other. And he basically could, would have been. He basically, have, been, he basically said, two side driver, please." They they could have absolutely just like, oh, he stamped and and spawned him, and they just have a second two star driver for no reason. You know, they could have gotten away, or they wouldn't gotten away with it. They could have just done that, but no, they actually took the time to explain how they have a second driver. So I will give the episode props for that. 
No, I'm very. I'm glad. happy that this was a physical fight and not one in the mind. Yeah, although I will say, like, apologies for my cat. The double henchin was cool, but I feel like we should have made it more. Like, it should more have been cinematic, more of a like more of a spectacle. Like, they should have taken time to really draw out the significance that yes, we're finally getting Evil versus Live. It's like they kind of. It's like whenever we kind of bring Dodger back in control, they kind of rushed it a little bit. Yeah, and the fight itself was like, kind of meh. For the most part. Although the broken helmet shot. The, oh, that was the coolest thing in the entire episode. So like, punch in the face and like paint flies out of his crap. They actually sh like cave in his fucking eye and paint bleeds out. That was the coolest shit ever. Yeah, it's really I good. Literally, when well, I first writer shows me to take a lesson from that moment. The rest of the fight when was mad, but that, that was amazing. When I watched this episode, I literally yelled, Broken helmet shot! Yeah, it's been a while since we've had one of those. Yep. Um, I guess they're... I, I, is it, mm. Can we safely say Evil won't come back if they've trashed the helmet? No, it's I probably believe, bears. I think Rogue was the last broken helmet shot I could remember. Yeah, no, that's right. Um, also, freaking I love Kagero almost killed... Nurse lady. <laughs> yeah. I was like, no. And I actually liked that George was actually concerned for her safety. And I was like, oh, well, yeah, he's not completely heartless. But I love that. I love that the director just waltzes on in and he's just like, it's like, eh, just give him the fucking stamp, George. And he's just like, oh, but like, yeah, worst case scenario. He's like, it's like it's like Daiji's a bitch. If he if he he'll prove himself. If not, we'll just hire Kagura to work for us. Can you imagine an alternate timeline where that happened and they just and Kagura was the one who lived and they just hired Kagura? How awkward would the show be from from that point on? Iki and Sakura have to live with Kagura and not Daiji. Oh man. Um. Oh, yes, then, good uh, versus Duke. <laughs> And then, um, it's, yeah, I also got to give it to Daiji's actor. Like, he did a really good job playing both roles. Yeah. I, oh, I think I think Jerry had to leave the call and come back, so I think you have to unmute him again. Oh, hold on. Uh, okay. Yep. Uh, I d I'm kind of on mixed feelings about the fact that Evel was finished off with just, like, a punch to the chin instead of an actual he You know what I mean? Well, it was an, it was an uppercut. Yeah, you know, it's st I'm still quite still a punch. Well, like... I was kind of hoping that like Live was gonna like uppercut him and then like finish him off with like a hisats with his gun. Like that would have been cool. Yeah. But uh, the ba purely based on the way Kagro disappeared, I'm pretty ready to say he's not gone forever. Because like no. he, he didn't just fade <laughs> away; he turned into feathers and like absorbed into Daiji. So I think that he's not dead. They're just like united now. I, I like the shot of like the black feathers. I really like those shots. I just like that like Kagro's crawling towards him and he's just like, no, I'm gonna make you henshin, you piece of shit. <laughs> oh my god, like this when he's climbing up Daiji's legs and you just cut to Daiji's looking like so awkward, like he's afraid that his demon's gonna blow him. <laughs> <laughs> please don't suck my dick, Kagro, please! Ah! <laughs> Is this is this masturbating or not? <laughs> Help me, step bat. <laughs> Kagero um, was spawned inside Daiji because he was jealous of Iki. <laughs> oh my! Yeah. And no, and I liked, I loved the one line where like Daiji tries one last time to try to like convince, uh, convince uh, Kagero to work with him, and then he just kind of goes. I guess we just were never meant to work together and Kagro's just like, no, no, never. So like this, based on this episode alone, it was kind of like, I'm thinking like, why is Daiji trying so hard to like save Kagro? It, it, I wish they would have like flashed back to the times that Evil had assisted them because I had to have to like step back and remember, oh yeah, there was that one time and then that other time. I feel like the episode didn't do a good enough job of convincing us that Kagero should have been spared. You know what I mean? Yeah. It doesn't help the fact that out of all the demons. Oh, Jerry, it's getting, 
kicked out. Uh oh, <laughs> out of all the demons. Death for dropping on me. What are you doing? Uh, you were saying, Jerry? I was saying, out of all the demons all the siblings have, his is the only antagonistic one. That's because Daiji's the jealous little brother. Which, honestly, I I was. I just to think realized. About this. I, I just realized he's the what? middle child. It's a yeah. Jan Brady oh. situation. Oh, oh God! Oh, oh my God! How have I not thought of that before now? Itchy, you cracked the code. There you go. They're always talking about Icky. Icky, Icky, Icky. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Oh my god, it's the middle child Kagro, Kagro, Kagro. <laughs> Ow, my belt, you, my belt. You are proud of yourself on that one. <laughs> That's a really good one. That's good. Which is funny because Soccer's driver goes, ja, 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 ja. So, uh, shall we gush how beautiful the holy life suit is? Oh my Ooh. god! It's so beautiful! That, 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 the, just those wings. I was like, God, Release Ichi must be losing it. With the wings! Do oh, it. you know they will. ASAP. They will. Oh, it's Absolutely. so pretty. It is. It is a gorgeous. You know what? I if this was premium, I'll be okay with it. It's worth it. Complete with a pack of feathers. I love, and I love that. Like Altec is just being so fucking smug and cocky, and Dai, she's just like, I'm gonna fucking kill you. I just <laughs> love that. Oh, I love that. Holy <laughs> Life got an actual fucking like stock henshin sequence with like an animated background and everything. Like it's goddamn Sentai. Well, of just course. <laughs> Die Jesus like by the grace of God, get fucked. <laughs> very yeah, very much. <laughs> He's gonna have the fucking holiest rider kick of all time. He's gonna put a hole oh, in yeah. demons. Prototype Thunder Gale. Yeah. So, so we're getting that soon. Yep, that'll probably be in an episode or two. Oh, absolutely. I love that George still being petty. So power up for live, power up for revise, no power up for Jean? Okay. No. Because prototype, hint, hint, we don't do tertiary riders well sometimes. <laughs> no power for crapping hell. You, you know we haven't been doing female riders well. I feel like Jean is the chance for that to be turned around. And uh, at best of V Cinema. Mm. Connor Rider Weekend, make it happen. <laughs> no. <laughs> She's going to hit you on weekends. Can you imagine? Um, I'll, I'll take, no, you know. I'll take Phoenix. You know what should happen? Daddy Ninja should be coming right our weekend. Oh my God! Yes, that would be rad. <laughs> be amazing. Although I'm no, I'm surprised by. We're almost halfway through the show, and I'm surprised that George has not taken the chance to become his own writer yet. He's buying his time. I still think that's in the wings. It is. I still, I still think he'll be end boss. Could be. Also, yeah, we'll take it next week. Just fucking making Giftarians like mad. Oh my! The day he dies or gets arrested again will be a good day. Yeah. Yeah. No. Fuck Alteca. <laughs> know what? I, know what I want? Have Julio be a writer and have him kill Alteca. That would be awesome. It'd be justified. That like that's like his you kill my friends. That's his debut my family, fight. I will kick your ass. Like he saves Aguilera from Olteca and then kills Olteca in his debut fight. That would be the perfect scenario. He's like, 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 like I, I can imagine the fight scene. You killed my friend. You hurt my family. You hurt Olteca. I'll kick your ass. Hmm. Yeah. Um, I guess he does need to suffer. We all, we got to so yeah we got as we talked about a little bit earlier we got to see demons do a triple genomics for the first time scorpion bata anomalo caris actually no, it wasn't like the it, first, was handled, it wasn't the first time but the first time we saw anomalo caris it, it was pretty it was handled pretty nicely I think that thing is it, fucking it's, scary it's great how they're handling the genomixes as literally being instead of oh and do all at once it has to literally be upgraded and gained yep so he can't be broken right away. 
Yeah. So yeah, the episode ends with a quick debut of Comrade Holy Live, and next week we'll get to see the fight proper. Woot. And more about Genta, I guess. Yeah. Also, I didn't Probably. realize that da- I didn't realize that Daiji's actor is eighteen. Is he? We've been getting younger actors lately, so he's only eighteen. I would have said mid twenties. Yeah. No, I would have said like twenty. He's got some <sighs> wrinkles on that forehead. <laughs> Because he's the middle um, child. <laughs> Stress wrinkles. I'm only taking a guess here, but I think these next couple episodes might be between the special, the veil special. Good. Not be. for certain. It's just a guess. It does kind of feel like that. Oh yeah, Mox Mox actor was also 18 when he started Drive. Oh shit! I thought he was in his early 20s. Yeah, no, I thought so too. But yeah, no, he no, was also 18. He's got that youthful energy to him. Of course Super he has that energy. He's freaking mock. Superstar action! <laughs> ma! 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 Ha 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 Oh, Drive, I miss you. Sa! Ma! Sa! Sa! Um, anyways... Don't put a car! Yeah! <sighs> Do I have to watch this show? Please tell yes, me. Yes, you do. Please, it's it's great. So much good. I like it. Okay, I will say, after watching this episode, I realize the dynamic that's happening here. You know who the Don brothers are? They're not who? a Sentai. They're a fucking raid team. They're a party. <laughs> They're a video game MMO raid team, and the red guy is that one asshole who's always late, but shows up with his new cash shop items to show off to everybody. <laughs> He's Leroy Jenkins. <laughs> so, um, before we begin, I have some uh, information about the monsters last week. Okay. All right. So the beginning uh, demon in the taxi. That one was based off the gr- uh, the grunt from uh, Shinkanger. Okay. Oh, the Moogers? <laughs> yep. <laughs> don't, don't call him that. Don't call him that. I know. I just remember them as Moogers from Samurai. <laughs> uh, <laughs> then another, the one even that was just killed in the middle of the episode was based off the grunts from Mega Ranger. Yeah. That's what I was saying. It was that Craterite episode of Power Rangers in Space. Uh, the, the soldiers Cooney Cooney. Gross. Now, you're talking about this, but yeah. So, Yappi becomes Kishiryuki, which is based off of, well, it's apparently based off a Ryu soul in Night Mode. Yeah, it's Ryu Soldier. And it's, and it's evolved as clearly Kishiryu Three Nights. Okay, yeah. sorry. I got I to gotta derail for one second. So, I just saw another official Sonic 2 poster. Uh-huh. Motherfucking Agent Stone got his own poster. I love oh, it. Oh, that's glorious. I, I love Agent Stone so much. He's my favorite. Look at look at him with that cup of cafe latte. He so has happy. hope for oh, the God. future. No, I just love that at, while Robotnik's been gone, he's just been working in as a barista, perfecting his craft. Yeah. <laughs> he, was, he was working in Kaito's cafe. Oh, oh man. God. Yo, so, uh, speaking of Kaito's Cafe, somehow fucking Haruka ended up working there. How the fuck no, did that happen? I, no, and supposedly I, I guess next- that plagiarizing made her have to pay rent for something. No, no that's fine. And then, but like, it's a fucking unexplained coincidence that she happened to work at that cafe. No, and then next week, apparently, she's working at the delivery company that uh, Momoi works at. So she's just doing <laughs> random part-time jobs every di- different ones every week. Yep, maybe. Oh, oh and uh, can we just talk about how the episode begins with the most wholesome boy with Kiji brother? Yes. Yeah. Yo, I think oh. I think it's safe. I think we can already call it that. Like Kiji, no. By the way, his name is Kiji, no. Kiji brother. Yeah, Kiji, no. And Inuzuka, yeah. Inu brother. They're <laughs> fucking doing this on purpose. Did yeah. you not realize that in the beginning, Itchy? Not until now, no. But it, like, it, it's it's, it's, it's pretty safe to say Kichino is going to be best character in the show. Mm-hmm. And he's, it's funny, we like we learned he's married. Apparently, in the story, he was only married. He's only been married three months ago, so he's recently married. He's such no. a wholesome boy. The best, exactly. Scene, the best scene though was like he's walking with his wife. He, they almost get run over by a truck. He transforms into Kiji brother, sends them through a fucking like 
avatar door <laughs> and saves her and she doesn't fucking pick up on it she's like what happened our love protected us god protected us <laughs> no honey our love protected us Aww. and then hugs and goes, she's too so sweet just... i'm so afraid she's going to die no itchy itchy i love you shut your mouth no no the okay. bigger the bigger question is how long until she discovers his powers I say halfway. I just love, I love he transforms right in front of her. <laughs> Thank God there was a door there. <laughs> Look at that face. This, this man is, and this is, this is this guy's first acting job. Really? Yeah, no, Holy yeah. Shit. He, he was, he was, uh, work, he was an actual like salary man, salary like, man. or something. And he wanted to get into acting because his life wasn't going anywhere. And this was his first gig he got. I think I think, and, I, think and, I, I think someone high up on the staff just like happened to meet this man no, and like, no. what if we just made a sentai about you? Everything else to be fucking is, whatever. Oh, Nichi, the best thing is, I guess supposedly after the conference, apparently he was in te tears of joy with how happy he was. That's great. He's the first pink. Like, I love it's this his man. first acting job. He's so wholesome. He's married. The first no pink. Yeah, it's so good. No, like this man. We stand. And everyone, 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 let's everyone, say it. No, and everyone will agree with me. This man is literally the Lito of fucking Sentai. Oh, um, yes, Lane. I agree. Like, like wholesome, wholesome, everyday man, loving wife and child and becomes a fucking Ultraman because <laughs> he almost dies. <laughs> Oh, and so good. Ajeed. Go watch Jeed, everybody. Jeed's a great show. Yes. <laughs> so we learn more about Taro, and it looks like I, we were correct. We, we are, in fact, dealing with another stupid red boy. And apparently no. he can't lie. Do not talk about Moi Moi Taro like that. Moi Moi? <laughs> yeah. What Moi Moi? Moi Moi. Moi Moi. Yeah, he's Momo. so honest that he tells people what he's going to do in Junken before they play. <laughs> I'm gonna use paper. All right, I'm gonna win. And, and, uh, then he's conf and then he's confused about why he lost and insists he'll win next time. Ah! And then, then his boss Sanai comes in, brings everyone lunch, and she does a thing where it's kind of a trope where she asks, "How old do you think I look?" And the other guys are like, oh, you look, you look in your, in, you look like late 30s, early 40s. You look fantastic. Carl, how do I look? 68. 68. 68. Oh my He's God, so you're blunt. perfect around the dot. <laughs> she's like, I feel bad for that woman. I just, I love that she's like begging to be younger. And I saw the monster and I'm just like, oh, hi, Tokyo. I get and, uh, it. Speaking of monster, here we, oh, I'll go and get the information now. So she becomes. Uh, Rishaki, uh, Rishaki, which here's a fun little mix up of Tokyuji information. It is based on a combination of the hyper mode armor, Grand Duke K from the Nanago movie, Count Nair from the Tokyuji Summer movie, and Doc, Dark Dr. Marvro from the Ninja vs. Tokyuji. Cool. They never would have picked up on that at all. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> like, oh, it's Tokyo Rods. This is the perfect one for this woman because she wants to be younger, just like how the Tokyujers were actual children. It, it's the beautiful irony that okay. makes it work. Can we can we talk about the blue the blue guy? Oh, oh my I, god. I I, I love him and hate him already so much, like at the so same I, time somehow. I'm indifferent. This guy, this guy comes in to a cafe, orders a cup of coffee, and he's talking to what's her face and He's just like, oh, by the way, I don't have any money. Money brings out the worst in people, so I don't carry it on I me. I don't believe in money. It's the root of you, of all it, evil. Instead of IOU, it's I haiku. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so he decides to pay with a haiku, and Kaido's just like, yeah, sure. I, I will <laughs> You're allow this. It's You're the welcome, God. Itchy. It's the fucking God from Zenkaiger. <laughs> oh, it, my God. <laughs> Yeah, the Kaito should, in the series is absolutely Kami, whoever the fuck. Yeah, she even she even does like the full like not Zenkai line on him, and he's just like, "What? Mm -hmm. okay. I said Ryoku like, Zenkai did not plagiarize." What the fuck? What are you talking about? 
<laughs> it's snowing on Mount Fuji. <laughs> if he actually ends one of his haikus sorry, no, no. later in the show with it's snowing on Mount Fuji, I'm gonna fucking die. <laughs> oh, but this 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 man's an interesting fella, and I cannot wait to see where we go with him. <laughs> that's that's probably gonna be his bit where like he'll try to pay something or just randomly bust out in haiku every week. Yeah, he's probably gonna have a new haiku every week. Yep, just like how Angoramon does in Digimon Ghost Game. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, so then, of course, we find out that Inu brother, he's he's a, he's a wanted criminal. <laughs> so, for what? We don't know yet. Probably murder. He, but but all he, we know is he 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 is fully on board with how this whole avatar world system works. And he actually gets away by putting on his glasses, finding a door and just going through it. And he's I'm like, using I'm his like, powers to escape the law. <laughs> Everyone is so he, flagrant it, with their powers. It's very obvious on why he's a criminal. He also plagiarized. <laughs> Maybe he was the one who plagiarized. Also, now, here's a good question. What did he, what pack, what was, the, what was this package that he just threw around? I don't know. It, it was yeah, definitely but, empty. No, you know what it was? It was probably the police tracker, and that's why they showed up immediately. <laughs> no, it was Harkus manga. Oh, maybe. Um, <laughs> also, I like that, like, uh, uh, Momoi like brought uh, over a key, you know, like a package, and he's just like, "We're bonded now." Oh, what happened? Oh, I dislocated my shoulder. Here, let me fix that for you. Yeah, he fixes Kijino's broken arm. What the fuck? That we learn that apparently, like Haruka, experienced misfortune. Yeah, I'm thinking that seems to be a thing. <sighs> like, whenever, as soon as everyone gets their powers, they experience really fucking bad luck. But the, so but, it's clear that Saruhar didn't get his yet. Or maybe his was being poor. Oh my god, watch that but be he, the reason. But no, he chooses to be poor. You don't know that. We've only seen him for like five minutes. But he said that but, he doesn't carry money, so obviously he's poor. Maybe that's just choice. him learning Kopi. Or to cope with it. I was about to say Copium. Kopi. <laughs> he's Kobe, brother. He's very Kopi. Kopi! <laughs> He went to the Kopi shop. Also, I liked that when we saw like uh, Kijino go into his bathroom, he had a pink toothbrush. <laughs> yep, he's like. I'm pretty sure that was his wife's, but he's just fully embracing. Just, the... I'm sorry, just when you see the when you see him go down the stairs, I felt bad. Oh, but oh, yeah. good good stunt work. <laughs> but yeah, like despite the bad luck that he experiences, he's still happily married. So good for that. We'll see how long that lasts. Yeah. No, no, no. We are not painting this wholesome marriage. No, I don't want it to happen, uh, yeah. but it's quite possible. Yeah. No, w watch that be the one thing that won't be affected. Well, Kijimo must be happy at all times. Yep. Yes. Also, we we, we found out that apparently uh, the Inu brother and Kiji brother, they uh, they have no choice but to be the, the, the suits that they're Their suits. In. Well, yeah. Because I... I fucking loved that he just like runs in and he runs under he fucking Odie's sister. He just like sister. skitters in underfoot. And then, oh, yeah. no, no. Can, can we acknowledge the fact that Kiji brother flies in and literally yet screams, ka, ka, ka. <laughs> ka, ka, motherfucker. Uh, <laughs> ka, yeah. ka, Kiji brother. So there, there's Inu brother in all of his horrible CGI. He just shows goodness. up and stands around like, like what? What are you looking at? In my notes, I wrote he runs in, slides underneath Oni's sister, kicks a grunt, and then proceeds to jump on grunt like the trampoline. Oh man, that like I want to just I want to all year round just have a by the end of the year have a collection of Inu brother fucking gifts. No, Bones the Flood. It's not Shadow the Hedgehog. It's Inu the Edge Dog. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. He knew oh, the yeah, dog. That, that's no, one I... fucking shot they thought they could get away with where it's clearly a fucking prop helmet and you see a human hand use the blaster. I, I see your fucking that... bullshit! No, that well that's why that's why if you I look, think that your brother has human hands. I think that's a stage show helmet. <sighs> but no, I like I like that like Oni sister complains that like he's a dog and he get he just gets disgruntled by I'm not like, a dog. It's, not, it's not by choice and immediately transforms into Riesel Black. <laughs> That's better. Inu Janai. 
Um, and then and then Kijino proceeds. He's like, wait, we can transform into other rangers? Transforms into Rhea Soul Pink and actually has like a female body and suit. Yep. <laughs> that was so funny. And wait, is, is this a girl power? <laughs> <laughs> Am and I being a girl I saw... boss? <laughs> and you know how people are comparing this to Gokai changes? Yep. I saw a good I saw a good way to the difference too where for the Gokai juice, they're pirating the powers. Yeah. Whereas it's for Dawn Brothers, it's very virtual, so it's a cosmetic change. Yeah, you know what it is? It's like changing your model in VR chat. That's literally what's happening. <laughs> I'm gonna go from a pink bird to a pink dinosaur. I, but yeah, uh, one no. notable difference is like when the Gokaijers changed into a, a suit that wasn't the same gender as them, it would either add the skirt or remove the skirt. This it time it doesn't. It. Like the skirt's still there. He just like hiked it up a little bit. Bones, I will just say this one thing. Being pink is not bad luck in the slightest. Hey, I'm happy for him. I'm also extremely happy for him. Like 20, 20, 2016 me would have been very, very happy with this. Well, I mean, I am very, very happy with this, but like more happy with it. Yeah, like this guy's a fucking pioneer of Sentai. He will be forever known as so many firsts. I love I how mean, we also. I love Technically, Tokyo Ichigo is the first male pink. He, he changed the male That pink doesn't pink. really That's count. That's a form change. Oh, okay. We're talking base suit, power, entire power set theme. Yeah. Also, I like the fact that we just ignored that uh, Sonoza showed up. Oh, you mean another writer grid on? And a uh, little, I caught a little fun thing when they when uh, Sonoe and Sonoza transform. They have a different musical chime when they yes. change their monster. Release form. the wristlets! I want it. You know that. I'll fucking and honestly, buy it. I and the the generals are they're called the Noto or the notes the Noto. I oh. grown to really like oh, these. Oh, so that suits. oh, I get it. That's what brain person means, because no no means brain and toe as in hito person. So yeah, it's so it's, it's, it's so, the, yeah. so they don't actually say brain person, but the name it's Noto no does translate to brain person and. During that fake uh, Dawn Fragrance thing, they say Noto in their quote-unquote roll call. Okay. Yep. Yeah. And when you have... If Grand on Krakow, they are... And yeah, I don't have the names, but they are subtle references to other uh, Ishinomori creations. Does it does it bug anyone else that we had? So like their names are Sono E, Sono Ni, and Sono Za, like Ichi Ni San. Does it bug anyone else that we had one and then three? And then two is next episode. Eh. Because it bugged me. <laughs> I know, I know it bugged you. It must be you then. Also, Sonoza's human form is creepy as fuck. Yes. Well, I shouldn't say form, his just human body. Also, we got to see the actual henshins for both yellow and red. Yep. And how them. appropriate Taro's is more. He gets, the, he gets the gold one because he's special. He's the leader. he's the leader. It, like I said earlier, he's the cash shop player. He paid for all the premiums. It's piss. <laughs> he's got a premium subscription. But yeah, this this motherfucker fucking comes in with his epic entrance again, and I just I I am eating it up. I love it. His his male harem, as I joke in the call them. He's got the oh, cash man. shop mount. It's so good. <laughs> like and he's got. People hold him on a platform. He has dancers. He is he is serving up his bravado. Love this guy. <laughs> like he is serving up character in just bucket loads. And then he uh he transforms into his mech. <laughs> <laughs> it shoots okay. out of his body. <laughs> okay. Like the mech is really fucking dumb and I hate it, but the fact that he just <laughs> leaves his body dead on the floor. Right. Is hilarious. His body flops like Philip. <laughs> oh man! I just I love the Inu brother just standing there, like, "What in the fuck is happening?" Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> what the dog fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, also, I love that. Like, when you realize, especially because Kiji brother and Inu brother show up, they're kind of forced to do this. Like, they have to fight. <laughs> hmm. 
Just... No, because like that's because like because in the first episode, like Kijido shows up and he's like another fight. Oh man! And like he has to, he has no choice but to transform. So. so they're a forced raid team. Yeah, they're forced Sentai. Because oh, the finisher. Oh. They're setting up a okay. festival for the finisher. I'll admit the spectacle that is the fucking Hisatsu. <laughs> Uh, just a sight for the eyes. Oh, yeah. Speaking of spectacle, so going back real quick, when Alt, when Don Monster Alter is fighting Sonoza, he is ping ponging the field. He's just being a little troll. He's a he, he turns himself to a goddamn pinball and pings around like it's a goddamn casino. Mini slash pops back in his body. Okay, time for the festival. <laughs> Like just those shots with the lighting and the the black background, that's just nice. Yeah, I also love that like Sonoe and Sonoza just get they just get bored and then they just like calmly walk onto one of the bounce pads and just ping out because they don't care for right now for some reason. Well, we're done. Bye. Their 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 personalities are interesting. I don't know. I'm I'm looking forward to finding out what the fuck their deal is. I mean, we'll know once we get all three next week. Yep. And then we cut to the Zord fight with a goddamn demon train. Which is based off uh, Count Nair's train and the something called the Giant Nair Hounder. Okay. All the Tokyo references. Cool. Tokyo even. My favorite. <laughs> so, but so no... So they just go through like some sort of wormhole in the flying augmented reality city, and then they cut a hole in it so that Zuran can show up. Because <laughs> shut up, that's why. Well, because Black Sun Kaiser summoned him again. I know, but like this is clearly not actual Zuran because he's not saying a word. It's like this is like some sort of replica of him. If anything, it's just like a purely robotic Zuran. Yeah, like like if Zuran's soul left his body and he was just a mech. Also, I love the aesthetic of the virtual world and these worlds. It's very grid, man. Yeah, no, I said we the saying. last week. It's yeah. very, very good, man. I still don't know why anything is the way it is, but so far all I've got to go on is some sort of <laughs> augmented reality video game has like become real. You know what the setting reminds me of? Besides Gridman? This Man? may be a weird thing to bring up. Anyone familiar with Mega Man uh, .exe? Or oh, yeah. Battle Network. Yeah, 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 yeah. How both the real and virtual world are just so connected. Yeah. That's the vibe I'm getting. I'm looking forward to the explanation for why there's all these fucking jump pads and warp doors and shit like it's goddamn Mario 2. It's, it's the, the, the Urchin. Hey, l- listen, the Game Master had a fun night. <laughs> but like so my theory last week was that the shades protected them or from the the dark app that they used but seeing it happen the oh, same way that's... twice apparently the app is what gave them their powers i yeah. guess maybe watch it be that they're that on un... maybe that's why they're so unlucky I don't know. You're unlucky. Because... You're Sentai. Sorry. What's gonna happen when they when they do the 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 Q Ranger episode? Are they gonna get lucky again? Yosha lucky. Yosha lucky. <laughs> so anyway, what the Q Ranger ultimate look like. So hmm. anyway, they defeat the the Tokyo monster, uh, and then for some reason, Sane Sanae has just decided that she's okay with being 68 for no real reason. And she's full of energy and life. Yeah, I like Tara, who's like, you're 68, but you look full of life. (laughs) You're old, but like a happy old. (laughs) At least he's not sugarcoating it. He's being honest, but careful about his honesty. Yeah. I just hope we get a proper Inu brother henshin soon. It'll be next episode, I (laughs) guarantee it. Does anyone else think there's going to be a bit with Haruko? Haruka is not acknowledging Taro as Taro. I mean, that's what they're ramping towards. He just doesn't yeah, want to that's what they're doing so far. Yep. Nah, there's no way it's that giant red asshole who's led us to victory both battles. 
I'm, I'm sorry, just last week when Sinoi kicks her, that still cracks me up. I just can't believe they just had a guy kick her in the fucking head. <laughs> yeah, I'm curious how what Kaito is going to be all up about when the show. What like if said, end of the show, actual Kaito shows up and goes, Hey, what are you doing? I thought I told you no more worlds. <laughs> Thank you, Seven. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> um, but yeah, I like your theory from last week how he might be the god character. He, yes. I think that's definitely. a pretty safe guess at this point. Yeah. There's like, no way that's actual Ka Kaito. He's only Kaito. He's actually just god. Because, like, yep. having this world. I don't think we learned nearly enough about who this sudden god character was who was apparently behind everything and was so significant in the Honestly, story. Honestly, so I feel like that this, could make sense because this series will learn more about whoever they are. Wait a minute. That could be plausible because remember, Kaito said, Have fun with your world. What, yeah. if, they, what if this god is doing that literally? I'm, I'm thinking yeah. what happened is, like, in the process of, like, doing whatever he was doing. Oops, I lost all of the world gears again. So now he's going around trying to recollect them. Taito is the game master. That's a good assumption so far. Yeah. I mean, unless if, it's just a first. If, if this is some sort of like augmented reality game turned real, that god character being some sort of authority figure in the system of that game sounds like a reasonable thing. You know what, you know what I think it might be? I think it's that guy in the cage. He's the Jin? original creator of it, and Kaito imprisoned him and stole it from him. I was thinking uh, the character's name is Jin. I think him and Kaito work together on something. Maybe. There's, there's, there's a lot of ways this could go. We're only on episode two. It's too, yeah, too far. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, quick thing. Episode three, we see a part where Saru Brother bumps his red butt. Yeah, there it is. I hate bumps it, his butt. I hate no. it. He's a I monkey. He have a red ass. I get it, but I hate it. I love lo sorry, but the whole team's together. It's ah! lovely. And speaking of comparisons, I know this dynamic reminds me of how no one knows who each other really is yet. Mm -hmm. Similar to Kyoto, you jerk, you think? I would thought you were yeah. going to say your very early Shinkenger. Well, I that mean, eventually, eventually, a couple episodes in, they did know each other. They just decided not to work together because they're like, yeah, we, we can handle it ourselves. Yeah. Well, but just, team. The whole thing would be like, because th th this is just their avatars meeting up. They don't know who the hell they like really said, are. This is an online game raid team. <laughs> um, Every they, time yeah, I see Inu Brothers this... standing next to any of them, it just looks so goofy. <laughs> Oh, I love it. Like, I'm, hey, I'm, hey, I'm, hey. I'm, I'm eating up Inu Brother all year He's round. He's the Lollafell! Uh, He's the Lollafell of the team! I away the day Inu or KG Brother T poses to assert their dominance. <laughs> yes. Oh, God. T posing Inu Brother needed to happen. T posing, posing Inu Brother can't hurt you. T posing Inu Brother. They're different races in an MMO! It's a raid team! See, in a she, video this game! This Sentai was made for you! Oh, I'm trying! I'm really Spe trying! No, okay. Final Fantasy XIV Dawn Ichi. Brothers crossover when? Ichi, think about it this way. It's exactly like how Pokemon Legends Ar Arceus is for you. You like the concept, but you don't like the theme of the game. Yeah. Legends Dawn Brothers. So, Dawn Brothers is an MMO styled Sentai, but themed after an ancient Japanese story. <laughs> oh my god. We are in for a fun ride. I can't tell if this is fucking stupid or fucking genius. <laughs> Sa Saber, Saber, Saber was your JRPG rider. Don Brothers is your MMO Sentai. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> hey, you both is good. Yes, it's, it's both. Both. Uh, but yeah, I'm I'm in, we're two episodes in. And I'm still enjoying the fuck out of the show. It's 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 a, it's a wild ride, and I'm in for it. <laughs> also, that ending song is fucking great. I love it. Oh yes, it is. I was gonna mention it. So catchy. <laughs> what the fuck, Seven? Por qué no los dos? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's go to our feature topic. Let's solve some mysteries.
I really should not have waited to watch these because these were fucking great. Oh, oh my God! George, yes. George, 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 George. We finally get to George see George is fanboy living the, the writer book. fanboy dream. Yep. You magnificent fucking man. <laughs> He hears, he hears fucking Excel say the fucking thing, and then he's like, he takes out his phone. Say that again. Say that again, please. <laughs> and then, and then he proceeds to take out his stag phone, and he's like, oh my god, it's the fucking stag phone! It's the beetle phone. Shotaro has the stag phone. Or beetle phone, yes. So yeah, beetle phone? we have, we have, like, we have fucking fan service. We have a murder mystery. We have a love triangle plot going on. Like, what the fuck is the special? It's amazing is what it's, it is. No, I know. Oh, and I, I caught the little nice little comparison with how uh, they said a Dopont user was using the buy stamp because both have an addicting quality to them. Yeah. As well as the invest fruit. I noticed the Dopont they chose was the Heat Dopont from the Heat. A to Z movie. And... Uh, I did a little research. So the biceps of the monsters on them, they do have a name. Yeah. They refer to as Oblivion stamps. Yes, I saw that on the one computer screen when George was looking through the lab so, belonging to Ueshima Shogo, who is apparently a rival who, scientist working on Kaijin DNA. Which, one, how do you find those parts if most of the monsters get blown up? <laughs> He's just like stalking every battlefield. Like, oh look, there's an arm piece over there. I oh hey look, severed head. <laughs> Maybe he I works love... for Foundation X. I oh. love. I loved when George fucking met Grid on in Bravo, and he just goes like, hey, 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 and then they all just start oh. fucking doing it. And I love that they're like, he's like, he, he just goes up to them, and it's like, oh my god, it's you two, and they're they're like, what? We're famous? He's like, oh, I'm famous super now? huge fans, and he just and noticed that he just keeps taking fucking selfies with them like constantly. <laughs> and how funny we see them fighting an invest as King Durian and Lychee arms. Yeah, no, good to know that. Yeah, good to know because they're the only suits they have left, probably. Yeah, I just love the respect oh, yeah, the cannon. Oh god, honestly, yeah, they probably just repainted what, the fucking Bravo suit. Let me, uh, what, what if they're the cheapest actors they can get from Gaim now? Well, yeah, they don't have grid on suit anymore because they repurposed it into Sonosa for Lychee. <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, but uh, George, no, George, it's funny. such a fanboy was great. Whenever, whenever they mention Zawame, George does like a hand gesture, and you hear record scratching. Yeah, like, was, what? Was, maybe that was a reference to DJ Sagra. That's what I was thinking, because you know DJ. Yeah. Um. Just so, so we find out that there's different kaijins from different series showing up, and they're happening by way of these Oblivion Vice stamps. Um, yeah, and apparently they were made by this, like, rival scientist of, like, George. Yeah, Ueshima Shogo. Who, as we learn, is dead. Yeah, and I love that yeah. Vice's, Vice's immediate comment is, when will these hit store shelves? And I'm like, probably soon. No, and we, we got, <laughs> probably. We got, we got this plot, and, like, I was like, this would have been so well well implemented into the show i kind of wish it was this feels like this like, it feels like i missed a movie no but like imagine imagine like because like he even explains it he's like yeah i took i took the 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 vi stamps and used like organic dna to fuse them this other guy's been using vi stamps to in in dna of like monsters to yeah. like create these stamps and i'm like oh. that would have been such a good idea for the show oh, weird to have like this rival scientist Doing the opposite of what George does. It's like a whole weird Black Mirror thing, honestly. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, one of my favorite lines was, because uh, during throughout the beginning of episode two, uh, uh, Hiromi was trying to talk about how he loves uh, Suzu. Oh, and yeah. And you see Vice hiding on by a table. was like, these two scored a zero on romance studies. And I replied, Joke's on you, Vice. Gen is married. Yeah, Gen, Gen is mar <laughs> happily married to Rina, and I'm so happy. That, that's... that would have been hilarious if Gen could dunk on Vice like that. Well, uh, well, until he sent the TV, he didn't know Vice was even a thing. Yeah. And then just Misa and Susie walk in to see Vice 
pull of the ring and just pop out of the TV. Yeah. And she oh, almost I thought she was going to drop tray. that food. Yeah. Yeah. And then Gen's like, you must be like one of those robots with the virtual intelligence and shit. I'm like, Gen, don't change ever. <laughs> And one of my one of the things in my notes is like, are most of the guys in love with Suzu in this place? I mean, can you blame them? It's going yellow, so. <laughs> so apparently, Suzu had a fiance who passed away, and then she proceeds to go, "Ha ha, you'd be a nice boyfriend." Just kidding, not. And you, and you just see Hiromi you like, in the background, just being like, "Motherfucker!" <laughs> well, actually, here's the thing: she mentions a dead fiance. Yeah. I wonder who the killer might be. I'm just like keeping it in the back of my head that anyone could be the killer. It could be her. It could be the maid. I'm ready for anybody. I think it's the maid. Oh, uh, can we talk about the MVP of the, uh, the episode? Freaking Naoya. Kaido. We'll get into that when we talk about episode two or three. But like, okay. Um, so yeah, the episode two is about the, 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 the stamps and then we go we go to Zawami City, and then we see like a fused roid mute attacks, and we see Hiromi fighting as demons. But my favorite scene in all of episode two is just like while Iki and Suzu are talking in the kitchen, he just cut to Hiromi standing in the next room. Cue the sad violence. Oh yeah, no, that was fucking hilarious. <laughs> I, just, I was like, like, like no, like did he hear? Like I saw that. Like did he hear the dead fiance part? Yeah. <laughs> Poor Hiromi. Um, and then, yeah, then just to Roby, just like, I thought he died, but he didn't. Well, I mean, we know he survives <laughs> because he goes on to fall off the cliff later. Fall off the cliff, lose his cannon? memories, read it with his mom. But they, ba this cannon? they <laughs> bait it real good. And then at the, as episode three starts, it's just like, psych, Hiromi's alive. Wait, no, he's unconscious again. <laughs> like he, he wakes up, Suzu, I have strong feelings. Passes back out. <laughs> the feelings were too strong. My boy, my boy can't get a break. Yeah. Well, maybe uh, he'll have better luck when he goes back to his oh, hometown. Also, when like when uh, when uh, Ryu's talking about like his uh, like battling the the dough pot with the stamp. I love we just get like a good shot of Excel fighting and a awesome he sots where he just like does like a spin slash into oh, her and, and he uh, does his catchphrase. I'm just sitting there and I, I, I'm just smile on my face like oh my my boy the Excel, Excel stands so eat good tonight oh like I, I still what a random like cameo to have in this special but like it's just so good they picked a pretty fitting one yeah I'm just glad Excel's always willing to come back to reprise his role. Like we had him, we had him in, we had him in the the Gaim Wizard movie. We had him in the the, the Gates Gates movie. movie. We had him show up in the Gates movie. Like, good to know he's always down to come back when he's needed. I he's know. one of the few secondaries who will come back. Yeah, he's he's the best secondary. Well, I mean, for me, G three is the best secondary. That was basically that's debatable, Lane. Yeah. Um. So. They decide to interrogate Kamiya by way of having Vice haunt him through the TV, and that was fucking terrifying. And that was, lo and behold, a... we learn a little thing about Kamiya. It's Kaido! It's actual Kaido. Jacket, hat, everything. No, but what t almost what hinted to me at first was in the first episode. He, they're like, oh yeah, he's like my guitar instructor, and I was just like, wait a second. Like, I was like, Kaido played a guitar in Fies. It's like, been so long since I watched Fies, I didn't I, remember that. And I was no, that that was the key thing about him that I remembered that he played a guitar, and I was like, I was like, no, it couldn't be actually him. That'd be that'd be way no. too funny. This is this is in episode two, like when he's teaching her the song, and he sees uh, Icky and he's just uh, like, and Gen. He's like, oh, the yeah, the, he's he gets like that Kaido silliness that he's known for. <laughs> oh, I love him. Yeah, because we haven't seen Kaido since the uh, uh, Yongo, the, spies, yeah. the spy special. Yeah, yeah. Yongo. Uh, Yongo. Even then, that was a weird cameo, but it was like I was happy. And I just love that, <laughs> like Kaido. while while they're chasing him through the forest, it's like oh, the sand. It was you, and as he's running away, it's not sand. <laughs> it's 
like he's running away, and I'm just thinking Benny Hill music. <laughs> no, but look, <laughs> I saw him transform into his, I saw him transform into his Orphanoc form, and I didn't I didn't like clue in that it was Kaido exactly, and I was just like, oh, he turned into the same Orphanoc that oh. Kaido is in because it's his actor. I'm like, that's funny, and then like oh, and, I saw uh, the jacket and the hat, and I was like, oh, like, oh I noticed I'm dressed up. I noticed as soon as I saw him transform because Gen was like, he transformed without a stamp. And I, as soon as he said that, I'm like, it's actually an orphan. Like, I'm an orphan. Orphan. What the fuck is that? Like, he was just so confused. (laughs) Oh, and a quick correction. uh, The dead man from episode one, that was orangutan. Yeah. For some reason. It's so weird that like there were all these stamps of other kaijins, but then there was a, a the same Oblivion Vice stamp of a dead man, and I'm like, why would you need that? Like Heat Dopon, a random invest, the Blade Roy Mewed. Orangutan dead He's... man. The stamps are already for dead monkey. Man. And then we probably get the best shot in the whole fucking episode when, like, they're in the the George and uh, yep. Rio are in the lab, and George's just like, "Well, time to queue up a search." <laughs> Axel, are you, what are you doing? That's yeah. the funniest <laughs> shit. That's gonna be our and thumbnail. Then like, and then he's like, "Let me, let me try, let me try again." He try, does it again, and and he's just like, "Will you fucking stop?" <laughs> no, we get it. He, he he's trying to access the George Library. Yeah. I just well, that's why like I'm gonna try and make a thumbnail of like him actually accessing it, like see if I can sho- shoot him in, and then just like Philip oh, standing off to the side, and, yeah, like angry Philip. <laughs> oh, and I, there's a cute touch where he gets called in this beetle phone. And he's like, "What's up, Chief?" Yeah, Akiko asks like that, when he's coming nice. home. So, yeah, like that was cute. I'm surprised was George didn't bust in and go, "Is that your wife?" Tell us, Akiko. Tell us, bye. Said bye. <laughs> I like I liked when she had that dream that she was double. <laughs> I, I like that long you fall sequence that? in your movie. Or no, just I like her long fall sequence in your movie. I had a movie. Movie. Man, to think Akiko threatened their marriage if he stopped being a writer. <laughs> or like it's like if you don't stop being a writer, we're not getting married. <laughs> yep. They wouldn't be married, they wouldn't have a daughter. <laughs> No, and then she realized that, oh, being a writer is what you do best, and I can't stop that. <laughs> yep. So I'm like, okay, yeah. I, I honestly, I realized, I find it funny, uh, in his last special, his daughter calls him, this special, his wife calls him. Yeah. Yep. Um, he, he's, he's dedicated to his wife. I love that Like yeah. when they're chasing Kaido, Hiromi just like gets on top of him and fucking throttles him, and then just like passes out. <laughs> Oh, that was- it looks like there's a part where, like, when Gen catches him, he started putting him in an arm bar. Yeah. Oh, man. Gen just keeps leaping on him. <laughs> just, again, it was not a cameo I was expecting, but I'm, I'm so happy it happened. Like, no, no joke, when he first ran away, I thought, is he leaving the special now? <laughs> no. See you in another five <laughs> years, <laughs> fuckers! Ka- Kaido's trying to leave the special. Yeah. <laughs> So apparently, according to George, this whole master plan is for the extraction of Orphanite DNA. I mean, it is, yeah. I mean, it is the peak of human evolution. That's and true. Apparently, the only one he's missing is Orphanok. which means Kaido. Uh, so please, Kaido may be a bigger player in the last two parts. Please don't Possibly. kill Kaido. He's our precious no. boy. I mean, don't I mean, kill the snake. I mean, I mean, he did die in the actual show, but that doesn't count. <laughs> yes, it does. It was the can to the show. No, it doesn't. <laughs> yep, that was. Kaido's in our hearts. It happened, Jerry. <laughs> He's alive in my heart, Lane. <laughs> He's playing guitar in my heart. <laughs> guitar in my heart. <laughs> what if he's a super orphan hawk and he found a way to come back? Oh my God, Common Rider guy. <laughs> oh God. Stop. He was already a riot trooper. I know, and he owned it with that fucking fedora suit and sunglasses. Just imagine he pulls that out again out of nowhere. That would be awesome. To bust out the hardware. Just time to bust out the old hardware. Yep. And she complete. Yo, yo, renewal Ryo Trooper figure when. <laughs> yo, please. As a, as a three pack. Let's do it. <laughs> Troop builder. Yep. <laughs> I think they should do that. We should get like a renewal Zek Trooper set like that comes with like the black and white one, and then. Uh, fucking! I I want renewal. Call it to stuff in general. 
I would like I'd like renewals of the mast forms. If that, I, like I was about better. to say, if they put out Gatak mast form, I'd buy that. The fucking I'd buy tenons. mast form Kabuto because that shit's funny awesome. enough. My favorite suit in Kabuto it technically only has a mast form in the toy line. Yep, Perkus. Uh, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. It's not. It's not. Uh... The Kabutek only had a toy armor. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, that was episode two and three of the Revised Mystery Special. Ep- Very apparently good. We had, do we only? We still have two more episodes, apparently. Yeah, and that will be <gasps> Jikai Radio Sentai Cast Ranger. We'll be doing episodes <gasps> four and five and finishing off this mystery next week. Hooray! I can't wait. This this special has been so goddamn fun. <laughs> yes. Who do you think the killer is? I mean, everyone watching has probably already watched it. It's Icky. It's the butler. It's Icky. <laughs> It's Vice. Yeah, it's Vice. Vice is the killer. It was Colonel Mustard. With the belt. <laughs> uh, Scooby Vice Mystery Incorporated. <laughs> Vice, Yo, is Sco- Vice is Scooby Doo. Vice is Scooby Doo. Colonel Rider Scooby. Scooby Dooby Vice. Roro Icky. It was a dead man's. I would love to hear Vice just go, Roro Icky. <laughs> <laughs> Scooby Dooby Vice, where are you? We need to stamp and tension. Common Rider Vice, what's your advice? The situation's full of tension. I got a full of a lot of rice wait. on. No, I know what. No, it's it's Icky and Vice. Get a clue. Vice is gonna roll the dice. Oh, ah. I'm sorry. All right. Well, that is Cast Ranger. Jerry, thank you for joining us. It was a pleasure. Glad to be on. I miss doing this kind of stuff with you guys. Y'all. Yeah. Hopefully well, I can be on more. Yeah, well, we love having you in our chat, so. Yeah. Yeah. We'll try and spread yeah. around the opportunities for other people as well. Absolutely. But no, I, I just like the fact that my recent training have always been for specials. Movies and specials. Well, I mean, yeah, there's we talk it's about one every week. Oh, oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> First call me a shiny knight. Any special? This is a good day for me. I should be shining knight caster. That's a super. Uh, I was um, I was gonna say more holy knight, but I'll take that. Just don't, just don't use shining through the night because that's Blaze's catchphrase. He'll kill you. Yeah. I mean, if I'm on long enough, I might change my cat, my roll call. <laughs> shining through the day. I thought you were about to say, if I'm on long enough, I will usurp and kill him. No. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure he would kill me first. Yeah, I mean, he does true have mod fight, true, Who is the true if, number one fan? He does have, he does have mod if, powers. If I'm somehow on long enough to be of that caliber, I might change my roll call. Comrade caliber? There, there's some incentive. All right, well, I'm tired, so let's wrap this up. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Thank you all for everyone for listening, watching, liking, favoriting, sharing, subscribing, hitting the bell, and being awesome. As always, the primary and join source... join the Discord with me and a bunch of other cool regulars. Yeah. The primary yeah. source for our hijinks is castranger.pobby.com. From there, you can find our Discord, Facebook, Twitter, Patreon, merch store, all that cool stuff. Comments for me. Yeah. Hashtag comments for Lane. Hello. Yeah. And I'm project. All right. Yeah. Thank you, everyone, once again. We'll see you next week. Goodbye. Bye.